Well, hey everybody, how are you? I hope you had a wonderful day today. I had a great day off. Uh, beautiful, beautiful weather today. Actually had to put on a jacket, so uh, yeah, I think summer's over. <laughs> so tonight, I am going to go over my skincare routine with you, and I'm going to show you an added tool that I got recently. So, uh, something I've discovered over the last two years is that having a nice skincare routine really makes a difference on your skin, especially when you're older like me with the wrinkles and aging and all of that. So, um, over the past two years, since I've moved to Vermont, I haven't had much to do. I mean, Vermont, you know, where I live, there isn't much to do. And um, I have definitely concentrated more on taking care of myself. So I actually started really concentrating on my skin. And then, of course, I got back into the makeup, which is why I started this channel, because I love makeup and I wanted to share with you the palettes that I get and the different techniques that I learn from the various beauty channels on YouTube. And so uh, I really, really have been having a great time. And my skin has absolutely transformed if you watch my videos from when I started over a year ago, you will see the difference in my skin. Now, the first thing I started doing differently was picking up this retinol and ferulic acid from MD Selections. I got this from Amazon after I read some articles about serums. I had never used serums. But I got this last year, and I have continued to order this pretty much every two months. Now, this is usually a product on Amazon for $9.95. There have been times where it has not been available, and I've had to get it from like a second or a third seller, which I didn't do because then it's raised to like $20. So, um, but this has been my go-to for the past year, and that has really transformed my skin into how it looks today. If you compare from a year ago to today, you will see the difference in my skin. Then, about six months ago, I discovered that e.l.f. has a skin line. Now, I had never gone on their website. I had basically just only seen their products in the drugstore like CVS or Walgreens but I was reading about the new bite size eyeshadows that they had in the quads these cute little bite size and I was not finding them at the drugstore so I went on to their website and oh boy did I find a plethora of products they have an entire skin line did you know that I didn't know that until I went on their website. So I went ahead and I ordered a cleanser, a moisturizer, uh, some extra things like the illuminating eye cream. And wow, I have noticed such a difference. So this is the daily facial cleanser that I use from e.l.f. I use this day and night. It has a very smooth, creamy texture, and it feels so good on your skin. And then I use this pink makeup cloth that I got from Amazon. Now, this is a makeup cloth that actually takes off your makeup just with water. But I also wash my face with it. So one side is very smooth, and the other side is a little bit rougher for exfoliation. I absolutely love this washcloth. It is amazing. So, after I use my cleanser, I go ahead and I put on a moisturizer. I've been using Oil of Olay for many, many years. But then I started using the Holy Hydration Cream from e.l.f. And it's amazing. Uh, I have normal skin. Normal to combination, because sometimes I will break out. I absolutely love 
this. It really has made my skin so soft. All I have to do is touch my face and it's like, it's like baby butt soft. <laughs> That's how soft my skin is. So I highly, highly recommend this. I have normal to a combination and it doesn't make me break out. So I would hope that it would be okay for you. And then at night, I use this eye illuminating cream. And I got this in a travel pack. At one point, I ordered a travel pack just to see what the different products were in their hydration kit. It was called a hydration kit. And I got the moisturizer. I got this. I got the facial cleanser. And it's my holy grail. I use them all now. So, that has been my skincare routine, and I really, really swear by it, ladies. It's really, really important to take care of your skin because it's amazing how it transforms when you really do a daily routine. So, in the morning, I wash my face, I put on a toner. And then I put on, I don't have a toner with me right now. I've run out of the toner. I've been using the e.l.f. toner in the yellow bottle, which is very citrusy smelling. And a lot of people don't like it, but I do because I love citrus. And then I put on the moisturizer. And that's it. And then I go and do my makeup. Now, a lot of ladies use sunscreen on their face, which everybody says is very important. But I really don't go out in the sun that much, to be honest. Uh, I basically just am a homebody. So I just go out to work. I come back. I do a little bit of shopping. I come back and I, you know, I've never really done sunscreen, but I have a feeling that some of this discoloration might be because I've never used sunscreen. I was a sun worshiper when I was a teenager and I tanned a lot. So I just have a feeling that's what this hyperpigmentation is from. But anyway, that is that. Now, when I went to Dollar Tree last week, I found this jade roller. I have heard so many good things about jade rollers. Apparently, I looked it up and I did some research. This is something that has been done by the Chinese people for centuries. And basically what it does, it helps to drain the lymphatic system. It's supposed to help with wrinkles and it's supposed to help tighten up your skin. So, this is the first time I am using it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this for the rest of the week. And then I'm going to see if I feel I have any difference at the end of the week. So I'll probably do a video on the weekend giving you my review of that. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and use my ferulic acid. And I used it down to the last drop. I already have a backup. And then I just put that on my face and on my neck. And I've actually used it on the back of my hands as well. And it has actually improved the texture of my skin on my hands as well. All right. Now, I let that sit down. There, there is a fly in here. <laughs> actually, I have more than one fly in here. It's fly season in Vermont. So I'm going to use some of my moisturizer. Put this on. And it was another beautiful day today. Oh, it was gorgeous. I had to wear a jacket to go outside this morning. So, so this is my nightly routine, putting on my lotions. Now, e.l.f. also has a daily moisturizer, which I forgot to bring out here with me, but I use that during the day. I use this mostly at night. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this sink in a little bit.
and it goes into my skin so well. It really absorbs it very well. And then I'm going to use this little illuminating eye cream that I have. This is, I don't know if I showed this to you yet. This is the e.l.f. illuminating eye cream. I got this in the travel pack. I had the big one and then I ran out of it. And then I decided to order the travel pack just to try out the different hydrating products they have. There's a travel pack called a hydrating kit. And it's got the moisturizer, the cleanser, the illuminating cream. It's got a couple products in there and um, I fell in love with the illuminating cream. So now I'm going to let that all sink in for a moment. And then I'm going to try out this jade roller. One dollar. Now, I was reading some articles and they said that some of them are not legitimate, but this one is very, very cool to the touch and that's what it's supposed to be. Jade is supposed to be very cool and this one is. So I'm going to give it a try for a couple of days and then I will report back and let you know how it did. Okay, so now I've already cleansed this with alcohol. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start rolling on my forehead. It feels, oh man, it's so cool to the touch and it feels really, really good. Really good. Now, you should probably do this for several minutes, but for, you know, I'm just doing this for uh, demonstration purposes. So, I will probably do this a little bit longer than I'm doing right now. But you can tell the difference. It's already plumbing up my skin. Wow. And I'm just gently going to go over my eyes and go underneath. It's supposed to help with dark circles as well, apparently. So we shall see. And then down the neck. And then I'm also going to try it on my hands. All right, so that is what I'm going to do for a couple of days and see if it makes a difference. My skin feels so good. It is so cool to the touch. It really, really feels good. I'm going to keep doing it for a moment while I talk to you. So, some of you know that my VV, my cat, I've been a little bit concerned about him. Uh, he sneezes a lot, which I believe are allergies. Um, there is a lot of dust with wood floors. It's very, very hard to keep the dust, you know, at bay when you have hardwood floors. Uh, I do use my Swiffer for wood, my wet jet, and uh, it does a great job, but you know, you really have to keep at it. So I, I tend to sneeze a lot too because of the dust in here. So, but he recently started coughing and I was getting a little concerned, so I had made an appointment for a wellness appointment tomorrow for Vivi. And um, we're going to see what's going on, if anything. And uh, he was supposed to get his shots tomorrow, but if he's sick and needs medicine, um, we may have to uh, do the shots at a different time. But just want to make sure he's okay because I have noticed some coughing and a little bit of nasal discharge. And he does sound a little bit hoarse when he meows. Now, uh, Vivi does not meow. I don't know why. Uh, I did get him from someone else and he doesn't meow. He goes, kh, kh. poor baby. I don't know what it is. Maybe he was born with a uh, underdeveloped voice. 
box? I don't know. It's very possible. But yeah, he's been sounding kind of gurgly and uh, I think he definitely has allergies, if not a cold. So I'm hoping that he's okay and that when I get home tomorrow night, I will make a video and let you know how they did with him. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned because, as you know, with the virus, everybody's doing things a little bit differently. So I have to go there. I have to call them when I get there, and they come out and get him. So I'm going to have to try and get the harness on him sometime tonight or tomorrow so that I can put him on a leash and get him over there and hope he doesn't get sick in the car like he did last time. Last time I took him to the vet, it was horrible. Oh, it was horrible. He did. He was very, very nervous in the car. I've tried to take him in the car over to the dumpster a couple of times, and he seems very fascinated with this new car. Every time I open the door, he's inside. So I think he likes the new car. <laughs> so... This is a new used car. A friend of mine actually got it for me. It was a surprise. And I was so, so grateful because my other car had broken down and I wound up having to quit work because I didn't have reliable transportation and it was just horrible. But once I got that wonderful car, I was able to go back to work. My life is wonderful now, and I am so, so grateful to Gravy K. So, yeah, this feels so good. So we're going to get him to the vet. I will give you an update tomorrow night when I get home. And that'll be that. Now, tomorrow's a big, exciting day for me. Every year I live for the Country Music Association Awards and the Academy of Country Music Association reward, Awards because all of my favorite country stars get together, they perform, they present awards, and those are the two big years for me, the two big events of the year. So when I was married to Dave, every time those awards came on, I ordered pizza, he was in his room with his TV, and I was out in the living room with my TV. And I would watch my awards, and it was just, it was always a big event. This year is extra special, because my favorite singer, Keith Urban, is hosting for the first time. He won Entertainer of the Year last year at the Academy of Country Music Awards, which was amazing. He so deserved it. If you've never seen Keith Urban in concert and you like his music at all, he gives the best concerts I've ever been to. Now, I've seen a lot of people in concert, okay? I've seen George Strait. I've seen Alan Jackson. <clears throat> Most of them just stand up there and sing, okay? They don't do much of anything. I mean, which is fine, but Keith brings an extra element to his show. He is very interactive with the audience. He sings his songs. He encourages the audience to sing along. There are times where he will stop singing and he'll let the whole audience just sing the rest of the song. And you just feel like you're a part of him, you know? And Keith has always said, you know, the show is nothing without the audience, you know, because it's the audience that gives you the energy, you know, and when it's a great audience, it makes the night so much better. And I'm telling you, I have seen Keith on every single tour he's done since 2004. 2004 is when I joined his fan club. I'm not currently a fan member. Unfortunately, over the years, the fan clubs are not as worth it to me as they used to be. You know, when you used to join a fan club, you'd get a letter, you'd get maybe a picture and a t-shirt. They don't do that anymore, at least not with Keith. When you join Keith's fan club now, 
you get the opportunity to offer to get merchandise, but you don't automatically get a t-shirt anymore. <clears throat> you don't automatically get a little picture of him anymore. It's just interactive on the website. They have a special area for the fans, but to me, it's just not that different. So, I, you know, I can support Keith by buying his CDs. I never download his music, his albums. I will download his singles before the albums come out. But once the albums come out, I always buy the CD itself. Because he and all the people who contributed to that really, really deserve it. And that's how I support him. And I go to every single concert that he does. So, 2021, I am hoping, will be a better year. And I'm so hoping that he will be able to do a tour <clears throat> of the country like he did, like he usually does. We shall see. I don't know what's going to happen. But if he does, and he goes the normal route, I actually want to go to Maine to see him. Because I'm in Vermont, <clears throat> and I have a friend in Maine from YouTube that I would love to meet. So come on, Keith, come to Maine, so I can go see your Maine girl in Maine. That would be so cool. So, it would be really, really nice. Last time I saw him in New Hampshire, which was an awesome drive. Oh, it was beautiful. Coming home was a little bit scary. But this new car, what I've noticed is the headlights are much better. I had a hard time in the old car. I couldn't see at night very well. Come to find out that my headlights just weren't very good. Because with this car, I can see perfectly. I mean, my eyesight isn't the greatest because I do have cataracts. But I, uh, I've, I noticed that one night coming home. And I'm like, this is pretty nice. But I still am very leery about driving at night because the cataracts make it difficult to see the lines. And the cars coming at me are very blinding. So I try to stay off the roads at night if I can. So, yeah. So I'm so looking forward to tomorrow night. All right, so my skin is feeling really, really nice. It's so smooth. And I will use this for a couple of days and I will see if there is any difference. And I will let you know. So I certainly hope you've enjoyed this video, my little chat and my skincare, please, if you really, really want to keep your skin in perfect condition, have a routine. It really, really helps. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I would appreciate it so, so much. And I'd also appreciate it if you would join. I'd love to have you in my community. This is Glows Be Pretty, makeup on a budget. You all have a great rest of the night or day, wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.